Part of a church group that was stuck in Haiti is back home in Metro Detroit tonight. They found themselves caught in the middle of violent riots during a mission trip. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson live at the church. And Jennifer Ann, what types of preparation and safety training goes into a mission like this? Oh, you know, Glenda, so much preparation, months and months. They said about six months of training and preparations. But the interesting thing here is that Kensington Church not only has a team that helps plan and prepare and train for missions trips like this, they have another team. A man I spoke with is on a team that is specifically designed to leap into action in case something goes wrong or the unexpected occurs, as it did in Haiti. Welcome home. The exclamation points on the sign barely covering the range of emotions felt when the first group of teens and chaperones from the Kensington Church Haiti mission trip landed at DTW. Exhaustion, just being excited to be home, but also because we have still some, some of their friends and our, our friends down there still, just uh, still concerned, still prayers. The images coming out of Port-au-Prince, Haiti are frightening to see. Explosive protests over the skyrocketing price of gasoline, shutting down roads, the airport canceling flights. Meanwhile, over 100 people from Kensington Church campuses partnering with Mission of Hope to serve people in need, having to shelter in place in the Mission of Hope compound. That has security, um, has fence wire, uh, fencing around the whole complex, and, and so it's the best place. Thorough preparation before this mission's trip ever began is credited with helping bring some members of the team home safely. Where we're having regular meetings talking about safety, security. We actually uh, have a safety and security expert who helps kind of talk through things uh, as a part of that experience. We talk about culture. We talk about expectations. We walk through logistics. That preparation allowed us to, to step into things quicker. And I think speed is uh, really important in a situation like this, being able to respond as quick as possible, um, and sometimes with limited information. Part of the missions team is still waiting for flights out, but those who've made it home. They were elated to be home, but then one of them, in just one of the most beautiful ways, said that we made friends with Haitians who deal with this on a regular basis. And so they were asked a question of, would you go back? And her answer was absolutely. Operation they put into this, they are crediting with getting home smoothly. Now they still have teams that are in Haiti, but they are working with the consulate, with the United States government and the Haitian government to continue getting them on flights and getting them home safely. And right now they said they want to make sure everyone knows the teams that are still there are safe in a protected compound and they are not in the midst of any of the, the riots that are happening, that they are safe. And there is a team in the air right now that is expected to land at 11 p.m. tonight. I've been texting back and forth and they are uh, excited to be back on U.S. soil. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.